ever been walking your backyard and you come across this? Well, my name is Adler Riker, and today I'm going to tell you exactly what this is. So, this is an eastern eyed click beetle. And eastern eyed click beetles are one of the largest species of click beetles um, here in the world. Not here in, ju not just here in North America, but here in the world. But, but, anyway, um, so there, this is a big beetle here, about an inch and a half long, and um, they do belong in the scarab beetle family, which I'm actually surprised by, um, because scarab beetles are kind of like a more rounded shape, you know, like a June bug. Those are scarab beetles. This thing's a kind of triangular type of shape. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, it's just weird. Yeah, I'm not sure. I, it, yeah, but it's a scarab beetle. I mean, the head, the head does kind of look like a scarab beetle. I will say that, but... Everything else about it doesn't look like a scarab beetle. Now you can tell it's an eastern eyed click beetle by these big fake eyes on its thorax. Probably wondering to yourself, click beetle. Well, it's a beetle, but where does it get the name click? Well, you probably just saw it right there when it raised its head up like that. Kind of. Hold on. Do you see that? And that is why they're called click beetles. And here's how it works. So. They raise their head up and it goes down so fast it locks into that little notch there and it, that's what makes it click, which you can actually hear. And he does use that to, um, he actually can jump with that. Which is interesting. Um, now they do fly, now I'm going to see before the chomp, as you saw in the thumbnail, we're going to see if we can get this guy to fly for us. Alrighty. Let's see. So, this is the click beetle. And we're going to see if it is going to fly for us. Can it fly for us, buddy? If it doesn't fly, we can go straight for the chomper. No? Okay. Ah, ah! Oh, this is not biting me. Those grappling hooked feet. Can I do something? Hold on. Um, wanna fly? No. I don't always seem like he wants to fly right now. You see that right there? Because you're probably wondering to yourself, you know, it's a beetle, but how did they get the word click in their name? Well, you just saw it. And maybe you just heard it. They click. And they will simply raise up their head and bring it back down. And that'll make a clicking noise. The way that clicking noise works is the head raises up here. Saw it right there again. See, there's a little, little, little hook here. I'll go into this little notch here. And when it locks in, it actually clicks. And you can hear it pretty well, actually. Now, they have um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 segments on their antenna so they can really bend them around. Um, their real eyes are right here, above, right behind their antenna and above their mouth. You can see right there. Also, um, now their exoskeleton is very, very rigid. Um, one of the toughest exoskeletons in the insect kingdom. You see that there? How it could stretch its head out so much you could actually see its innards behind it. I think that's kind of gross. Now I'm probably wondering what these club-like elements are below the antenna. Those are actually mouth parts. I forget what they're called, but they're very weird and they kind of resemble the club-like antenna that rhino beetles have. Now they have these grappling hook feet, which actually are, are just grappling onto me. They hurt. 
You can see right there on my thumb, you zoom in there, I grappled onto it. So yeah, definitely very, very strong insects clicked again. Now they do fly, I'm gonna see if we can get it to perform or fly first. So, um, if you look under this leg here, you can see a little, little gap there. That's actually kind of where the fourth segment begins there, at that gap. And, um, and actually will it Show us the gap again, Adler. Okay. See there, right there, and that will extend when it flies. Just helps it, just kind of helps it um helps it glide through the air a little easier. Kind of helps it catch the wind. Now, if this thing's not gonna fly for us, I think I might just go straight to the chunk. Um, yeah, it doesn't look like it's gonna. Okay. This doesn't look like it wants to chomp me. This is the worst. Oh, uh, 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 uh. Go. Ready? One, two, three. Step on one of these things. Like I said, you're not gonna squish. You're. It's actually going to like um, extend its head out super far and inflict a bite. And those mandibles look pretty sharp there. You can see them. Okay. Well, the main question you're probably asking now is: Are click beetles dangerous? The answer to that is no. They're not venomous. They do not do any harm to a human. All right? So, that is everything that you should know about Eastern-Eyed Click Beetles. Goodbye!